Hello. Today we will be folding an origami ox designed by Bernie Payton. This model is quite simple to fold and it requires minimal shaping for such an outstanding result. Now we're going to create a horizontal crease on this top layer by pulling it up just above the eyes. Now you'll notice that the eyes come out of the model just a bit on either side. And we're just going to make a crease as soon as you pull this layer up just above them. So just pull it up about here, there's no exact reference point. But don't make your crease just yet because you want to make sure that it's perfect. So turn the model over and you want to make sure that this vertical crease on the head aligns with this vertical crease up here. So as soon as they both align, then you can make your crease. So once it looks like this, then turn the model over. Once the model is turned over, we're just going to fold this top edge down to this edge here. So let's just take this, pull it down, make sure that it aligns nicely with that edge, and then make your crease. So just go all the way across, and when you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're going to create the horns. So we're going to start with this left horn, and we're going to focus on these left layers here. And what we're going to do is focus on this edge right here, and this corner right here. And what we want to do with this edge and this corner is align it with this edge and that corner. Now, this we're going to pull this down, and as soon as this edge aligns with this edge and that corner, and this corner aligns with that corner, then we're not going to make a crease just yet. We're just going to pull it back just a tiny bit, but still make sure that these two edges align with one another, but just make sure that it's offset a tiny bit from this edge. And once it is, then you can make your crease. And crease sharply because there's a lot of layers here, and you want to make sure that you extend the crease through all of them. So once you're done, it should look like this. And now what we're going to do is fold the horn outwards. So there's no exact reference point for this, but we just want to start our crease right here. So right at this little corner here, we want to start our crease. And to do this, we're just going to pull over and start your crease here. So just pull it over right there. And then we're just going to keep continuing pulling this horn out this way and just keep pulling it until it looks like this. Now again there's no exact reference point and it's all personal preference too so it's really up to you but it should look something like this. Once you've done that now we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to focus on this edge here and this corner here. And now we're going to focus on this, this edge down here and you'll notice that it's underneath the edge that we were just working on so that might be a little bit trickier but just focus on this little part of the edge that you can see right there so we're just going to pull this down just like we did on the other side and we'll bring this corner to that corner and this edge to this edge again and again we just have to pull it back a tiny bit still aligning the edges and then we can make our crease so as soon as it looks like this then we'll make our crease again crease very sharply and then we're going to fold the horn outward. So we're just going to do the same thing we did on the left side. And since you kind of want the horns to look even, you should use this side as a guide. So you kind of have to look at that as you make this one. So we're just doing the same thing. We're starting our crease down in this corner. And we're just going to eye it up and figure out how you want it. And I would definitely look at this side to make sure that both horns are even. And once they both look about the same, then you can make your crease. And once you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're going to start to shape the horns. So we're going to start with this right horn. And what we're going to do is pull up this topmost layer. See, there's two layers on this horn. And you're just going to pull it in towards the center of the model until it basically stops. So it will stop up here and down here. So just pull it over as far as it'll go. And then make your crease. And it should look like this. And now once you've done that, then you want to do the same thing on the left side. So just pull that over as far as it goes, 
and it should look like the right side, and it should look something like that. Now again we're going to focus on this right horn, and we're just going to narrow it out a bit. So to do this, we're going to start with this edge here, this vertical edge, and we're just going to align it with this edge here, the edge of the flap that we just folded over. So we're just going to take this edge, and then we can just pull it over until that edge aligns with the edge of the flap that we just created. And once it's done, it should look like that. And now we want to do the same thing on the left side. So just align this edge with the edge of the crease that we just folded over. So just pull it over, just like this, and then make your crease. Once you're done, it should look like this. Now we're going to narrow it even further. So we're just going to fold these two little points here down a bit. So you can just take this one, and there's no exact reference for this, but we just want to fold it down a tiny bit to make the horn a bit narrower. So just fold it down like that, and then make your crease, and then do the same thing on this side. Just like this. Now we're going to round off the horn a bit. So we're just going to fold in this corner here, inside the white a tiny bit. So let's just pull this in. Again, there's no exact reference for this, but just pull it into the white a tiny bit so it looks something like that, and it's kind of rounded on the side. And then we want to do the same thing on this horn. So just pull this in, into the white area a tiny bit, and then just make your crease and it should look rounded. Now we're going to turn the model over. And once it's turned over, we're going to round off the head a bit on either side, and then we're going to fold up the nose. So to round off the head, we're just going to create two little reverse folds on either side. So we're just going to push in a little bit on either side here. So just make a tiny little reverse fold to kind of round off the head a tiny bit just like this and then squash it down to make it nice and sharp and then do the same thing on this side so just make a tiny little reverse fold and then just flatten it out and if they're not exactly even then sort of look at each one and try to make them both look about the same okay now that the head's rounded we're just going to fold up the nose a bit so we're just going to take this tiny edge here and we're just going to fold it up. We're not going to fold it all the way up to this edge here, but we're just going to fold it up a tiny bit. So just pull it up, make sure that the vertical creases align on this edge and the tiny flap that you're folding up, and then make your crease, and it should look like that. Now we're going to start to shape the model. So we're going to start by rounding off the face here on either side. So to do this, we're just going to sort of push in the side right here. We're going to push this edge under a tiny bit. And we're going to sort of make a round edge just like this so that the eye becomes more visible. And you're going to start that up here. And you're going to bring that crease. Well, it's not going to be a crease. It's just going to be a light little mark to make this edge go underneath. And we're just going to start it here and bring it down all the way to the nose and you can adjust that however you like it but right there is about good and then you're going to do the same thing on this side so just push it in and try to make them both look somewhat even so that the model will look a lot nicer and once you've done that on both sides it'll look something like this and now we're going to do the same basic thing on the inside of the horns so on the inside here and the inside there, we're just going to do the same basic thing by making sort of a rounded crease almost, just like we did down there, just to make the horn look more rounded and better shaped. So you can make it look something like this. And again, it's all personal preference. So I'm going to keep mine like this. And you can make it more rounded if you want. You can make it straighter if you want. It's really up to you but you just probably want to curve it a tiny bit just like this and once you've done that then your ox is complete I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to fold an origami ox designed by Bernie Payton please comment, rate, subscribe and thank you for watching